Generally speaking, the street rod looks much like the standard street 750. We've got the same fuel tank, frame and engine geometry, but the devil is in the details, and there are plenty of those to choose from. We start out with a cut down front fender over dual front brake discs for twice as much braking power as the regular Street 750. Harley flipped the forks upside down, and threw blackout treatment on the stems as well as the triple tree. A redesigned fly screen tops the whole rig with a single clock instrument cluster tucked away behind. The standard, 3.5 gallon street fuel tank comes with a special tank graphic that I gotta say, doesn't really do anything for me. Back from there we have a redesigned seat that, along with the rear wheel diameter increase to 17 inches, puts the rider's butt at 29.4 inches off the ground. The factory says this is meant to allow for greater forward visibility through the traffic ahead of you and a safer commute, but this stance along with the almost jockey position rider foot pegs and drag bars, really encourages a relatively aggressive riding position for a Harley. One detail here that never gets old is the bar and mount mirrors, so there's none of the big, tall mirror standoffs waving around in the air, and that makes for clean lines to be sure. Many of these changes make for a marked improvement in handling, and is part of the overall strategy to draw in younger buyers.